This is problem number 16 from the August 2015 Algebra Regions exam. In this question, we're trying to find the graph which represents this function. And it's a piecewise function, meaning it has two different, it's uh, two different possibilities based on the value of x. So if x is less than 1, it's the absolute value of x. And if x is greater than or equal to 1, then it's the square root of x. Now to figure out what this would look like, it helps to use your graphing calculator. And for both equations, um, input in and see what it can take a look and see what it looks like. So the absolute value of x looks like a v. Oops, let me try that again. So that's the absolute value of x, except that we're only interested in it where x is less than 1, meaning this section here. Okay, and we can see in the possible solutions that that would be either number 1 or number 2. Number 3 and number 4 don't work. Okay, now if we were to look and graph the square root of x, you would notice that it looks like this. And we can see we want that to happen where x is greater than or equal to 1, which would be just a little bit over here. And it looks like that's happening right here. So graph number 2 makes the most sense, and that is our solution. You can see number 1 doesn't really work because that doesn't represent the square root of x at all. So that's not right. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.